Hello, my friends. I am Francois Dupree, and today Francois will be auditioning for the great new role in the wonderful director Tommy Wasau's new film, The Room 2. Even roomier. Even though Francois thinks that's just a working title, and it might be like The Room 2. The not quite four walls in a room, room thing. Or The Room. Oh my god, there's a fifth wall. Or The Room. Only smaller. Or The Room. Bigger, longer, and uncut. Or The Room. I don't know. Just... Francois actually never seen the original Room, but he is told by many, many people that it is a great movie. It is one of the greatest movies of all times. And it was a true shame that the brilliance of the director, Mr. Tommy Wasau, was completely overlooked by the Academy when they were looking at his greatness. And so he called them retarded pricks. And so they did not nominate him. Which they should have, for it is a brilliant movie. A brilliant, brilliant movie. Again, though, Francois has not seen the movie. He's just going with what his publicist and what Tommy Wasau's own website says about how it's brilliant and everything. But now, Francois would like to, um, he, he's going to read um, the brief synopsis of, um, oh, okay, uh, he, uh, here it goes, here it is, The Room 2, The Room from Planet 9 from Outer Space, what the hell? Okay, The Room 2. Um, basic syn synopsis. Um, Johnny, after failing, after shooting himself in the head at the end of the room, awakes in a coma nine months later to find he has survived and his twin brother sitting next to him Together they swear revenge on Lisa, Mark, and all that have done Johnny wrong in the past. Thanks to the help of a mysterious benefactor who Tommy met at the bank, Tommy and his brother arm themselves and prepare to get revenge. Wow, this sounds amazing. I mean, Francois has no idea what happened in the first one, but that, that, that sounds... Would someone tell Francois what happened in the first movie? Because why? Why did Johnny shoot himself in the head? Why? What? Because Lisa didn't want to be with him anymore. No, Johnny didn't want to be with her anymore. But he still loved her. But she cheated on him with Mark. So Johnny shot himself. Okay. Where does his twin brother come from? And he's in the sequel. So, Lisa and Mark are together? Yes. Okay. That's... That's a pretty... It doesn't give John... That doesn't give Francois a whole lot to go with. It just kind of... Putters off into the distance there. Okay, here's how the room started. Johnny bought Lisa a red dress and she put it on but then he came over because he likes to watch wait 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 who, who is who is Denny he's a little orphan boy why 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 is why is a little orphan boy following Johnny and Lisa around because he likes to watch oh he likes to watch what he likes to watch them together. Uh, okay, that doesn't seem weird, I guess. 
So then the next day, Johnny goes to work, but Lisa calls Mark over, who's Johnny's best friend. And Lisa asks Mark if she'll if he'll have sex with her, and he says no. Then she says, "Pretty please," and so they have sex. Wait, but shouldn't Mark say no because he's Johnny's best friend, not because Lisa says pretty please? I mean, she said pretty please. I mean, you can't turn down a pretty please. Okay. So then we go through this thing with Lisa's mom where she has breast cancer. That's oh, never that's so again. sad. Well, well, don't worry. It's never mentioned again. Well, but she has breast cancer. Shouldn't they, like, resolve that? Like, she gets better or she dies or... I assume they're going to resolve that in a sequel. I, the sequel doesn't mention that. It mentions Johnny and his brother Tommy getting revenge. That's all it mentions. Oh. Who knows? Maybe she dies, maybe she lives, who knows. Okay. And then it involves Danny, and he's been selling drugs for this drug dealer. I thought he was a little orphan boy. He is. But he's been selling drugs. So then but, they take the drug wait, dealer wait, to jail, but maybe. But little orphan boys aren't supposed to sell drugs. They're supposed to be cute and sell flowers on the side of the road, well, and maybe get into mischief. Well, Danny sells drugs. Okay, so then Tommy stop Johnny stops him, and and then they go into this thing where Danny loves Lisa, but that's never mentioned again either. Same as the drugs. Well, wait, 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 wait. So Mark and Danny are both after Lisa. No, Danny's not after Lisa because he won't betray Johnny. Well, shouldn't have Mark not betrayed Johnny either? I mean, he is. But Lisa Johnny's said, best "Pretty friend. please." Wait, Plus, he's but, got this kick-ass beard. Chicks dig beards. Well, Francois has beards, and chicks don't tend to dig Francois. But still, as his friend, Mark should have said, No, Lisa, this is wrong. You should not be trying to seducinate me because I am Johnny's bestest friend in the whole world. Okay, well, well they continue to have sex, but Johnny thinks something's up. So he bugs the phone line. But not after Lisa and Lisa's mom come in to have two people having sex on Johnny and Lisa's couch. Huh? They were having sex on Johnny and Lisa's couch. Why are strange people having sex on Johnny and Lisa's couch? They like to do that. Why? But, but it, why don't they just get a couch and have sex on it in like... Some, like, in their own apartment instead of Because they like Johnny and Lisa's couch. But wouldn't it be safer and, I don't know, like, not as likely that someone's going to walk in on you if you just would have sex in your own house? I mean, Francois doesn't know this. Francois's not an expert on the sex, but... They're having sex on Johnny and Lisa's couch because that's where they like to have sex. Okay. Well, still, I mean, they could, couldn't they just say, we'd like to borrow your couch and take it to their house? No, because they want to have sex on the couch in the apartment. I mean, they could have just stole the couch. But no, they like to do it in that apartment, too. Well, Don't worry, Lisa already knows about it, and she's okay with it happening. Why? I don't know. I mean, she's just letting random people come in and have sex on her couch. Apparently. Why Why is that? That doesn't... I, I mean, don't, don't you think that's a little strange that you're just letting random people come in and have sex on your couch? And, well, mean, you know, I wouldn't do it, but they live in San Francisco, and San Francisco people are very open-minded. Still, that's a little weird. I mean... I mean, it has something to do with the ocean and the earthquakes. They're very open-minded. Okay, that just seems kind of weird. So so then this psychiatrist comes in, and he, like, dies after he takes a hit in playing football. Wait, 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 he dies? Well, we never see him again, and they never mention him again, so I'm just going to assume he's dead. He dies? Yes. That's sad. Why... Well, don't worry, we don't see the funeral, and they don't say he died, 
but they never, we never see or hear from him again, and they never mention him again. Well, shouldn't they, like, at some point show this character again if he's not dead? Or mention that he is dead? Well, they show him in the sequel. What's the character's name? I think his name was Peter. Peter, 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 Peter. No, right here it says, Peter is still dead from a tragic hit he took while playing football. Okay, so he's dead. But shouldn't you have mentioned that in the other movie and not... Because by saying he's still dead, that's kind of implying that... Well, I mean... We knew he was dead to begin with. Well, if we don't hear from him or see him or ever have him mentioned, we assume he's either dead or never actually existed and is a figment of Johnny's mind. But Johnny doesn't seem crazy. He just seems like he's from Mars. Wait, 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 wait. So, Johnny sees people that aren't there? Well, we don't know, because Mark and Denny seem to be able to see Peter, too. But we never see or hear from him again, and he's never mentioned again. So maybe he was just an imaginary character. You know, it's, it's like in The Sixth Sense, where the kid, kid's mom is sitting in the room with Bruce Willis, and you assume they talk. And then it's like, well, she didn't actually know he was there. So maybe that's it. We assume they're talking to Peter, but maybe they weren't, and maybe only Johnny sees Peter. This movie seems really weird. Okay, but I'm not done yet. So now Johnny has a birthday party. Wait, wait, wait you're not done yet? No. I, there's, you... Well, you, you just mentioned a bunch of things, and you just said they were never mentioned again. Well, they really have nothing to do with the plot. <coughs> But, what is the plot? I, so far, you the have... The plot is, is Mark sleeping with Lisa, but Lisa is Johnny's fiance. So this goes down at Johnny's birthday party. When Lisa gets everyone to go outside so she can fuck Mark on the couch, but Johnny comes back in and her, him and Mark get in a fist fight. So then... Wait, 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 wait. Why would she do that? That seems really risky if you don't because want Johnny. Because she's a whore. Yeah, but if you don't want Johnny to find out, why would you go, hey, just go outside real quick while I have sex with Mark on the couch? Because that just seems like a bad idea. I mean, maybe, like, drug their drinks or something. I mean... I don't know. Because she's a whore. Whores do things like that. You're confusing, Francois. Okay, but wait. So Johnny reveals he's been taping Mark and Lisa's conversations on the phone. So Lisa leaves, and then Johnny shoots himself. And then Denny tells Johnny to wake up. But Johnny doesn't wake up. So Denny beats on his chest and tells him to wake up. But he doesn't wake up. You, you do know this sounds like a very stupid movie. It is a great film. Apparently this is a great film, my friends! Francois is very excited to be, to be approached, to be doing the sequel to The Room. Which, um, Francois still, after having it explained to him, has no idea what it was about. Um, but anyways, Francois has some lines he's got. He's going to do um, just to to um, show Mr. Wasau what a great actor um, Francois is. Hello, Johnny. Yes, I am in my tuxedo. Do not I look very nice today? I know, we are getting dressed because it is the anniversary of your wedding that never happened. The day 
where you were supposed to marry Lisa. Now we must go play football outside, for it is what we do when we get dressed up in our tuxedos. Oh, hi Denny, who got out of jail because of the drug dealer saying that he never actually dealt any drugs, yet the police found drugs on him and got arrested, and now is out of jail. Would you like to come play football with us in our tuxedos? Yes, let's go play football, all of us. You know, I really wish Mark was here. And close scene. Do you know that that scene didn't really make any sense? Why? They were playing football in their tuxedos. Why were... But you don't play football in tuxedos. Well, you don't, but I do. Why do you play football in a tuxedo? Because I've seen Tommy Wiseau do it. Why was he playing football in a tuxedo? I don't know. Go ask him. Uh, what are they referencing with the footballs in the tuxedos? Well, there was a scene in the room where they played football in tuxedos. And I thought in the sequel he was trying to get a revenge on Mark. Why is he... Why is he wanting Mark to be there? Because he's Mark. How did Denny get out of jail if he was in jail for drugs? Because he told him he didn't have any drugs. Do, do you know that Francois is very... You know, Francois has done a lot of, 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 of crappy scripts in his day. He has done a lot of uh, just, of uh, just dog shit in his day, of crap that would make your head explode. I mean, for God's sakes, he even worked with Glenn Beck on his radio show. I mean, if that's not just piling on the dog shit, I don't know what is. But this, 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 this seems like a masterpiece of, of um, brilliance. Yes. It is. It's, it's sure to be a um, big summer blockbuster. Yeah, I I guess we have an I, I I guess Francois has a few more lines here. No, you don't. I let's see. Uh, and uh, yeah, right here. Right but here. that was the big climax. You can't go more any further. There are more lines right here. It's yeah. It's, just forget about them for today. What What do you mean? There's it's it says right here. It's like hi, Denny. Denny, education is uh, very important, and you shouldn't do drugs. Drugs are are bad, and they will ruin your life, Denny. Put arm around Denny. Now let's go eat supper. What?